With time, we see headlines stating that robots are serving in restaurants all around the world. Robots in hospitals or headlines such as a robotic nurse or robot housekeeper in the home. Although such announcements drive us insane, humanoid robots are the most recent source of AI. A humanoid robot, also known as an android, is a machine designed to perform human-like tasks such as chatting, walking, playing, interacting, and so on. It can sometimes match a human-like impression, other times it simply resembles the human body, indicating wire and metals. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. In today's video, we're going to learn about female humanoid robots with abilities that can shock you. Stick to the end. Android Acting Robot The first version of this android was released in 2003, and the android robot has grown in intelligence since then. It's recommended for theatrical use because the design is more realistic, the responses are more human, and the voice work allows it to read various scripts and languages. It responds to touch thanks to smart sensors and actuators, and the various motors allow it to simulate breathing. This robot, unlike many others, can be rented. Fedor Fedor is a Russian humanoid robot for final experimental demonstration object research. After Kerobo, Fedor is the only robot to spend 10 days assisting astronauts on the International Space Station. The robot Fedor was unveiled in 2015 and has received numerous upgrades since then. Fedor, originally known as Robot Avatar, was designed for recovery purposes. It can easily replicate the movements of anyone wearing a robotic exoskeleton coat. Fedor, the robot, is capable of performing push-ups, blasting firearms, managing social media accounts, and driving a vehicle. Furthermore, the robot is designed to perform employment and transmit astronaut processes. In addition, Toyota unveiled the TH3 robot, which is related to Fedor. Junko Chihira Junko Chihira is a Japanese gynoid robot created by Toshiba. Hiroshi Ishiguro's technology is used to create it. Junko, a gynoid robot, was revealed in October 2015. It's also known as the trilingual android because it can speak three languages, Chinese, Japanese, and English. In addition, Junko Chihira, the robot, can also communicate using sign language. Furthermore, it's her younger sibling's newest Aiko Chihiro. Junko looks like a 26-year-old woman and has a promoted version of device management. It has excellent interactive abilities, realistic moods, and pre-written speech rulings. In addition, the robot is outfitted with a variety of technologies, including a language synthesis system and standard language processing. Sophia Sophia is the country's first robotic inhabitant. Hansen, a Hong Kong-based company, created the humanoid woman robot Sophia. On February 14, 2016, the corporation revealed and created this humanoid robot. Sophia was designed to resemble the inventor's wife, Audrey Hepburn. Furthermore, it possesses all of the glamour criteria such as a slender nose, high cheekbones, porcelain skin, a captivating smile, and gorgeous and vivid eyes. Not only that, but her eyes change color depending on the light. Sophia's abilities include attending to faces, maintaining eye contact, and observing people. Sophia's most notable feature is its lifelike skin and ability to attract more than 60 facial characteristics. Several times throughout the film, the humanoid robot Sophia exhibits social behavior, interacting with society and questioning humans. Sophia was designed to be a good fit for healthcare, consumer assistance, and education. Sophia can also draw in color, as well as create illustrations. Hansen also establishes nine other robotic siblings after Sophia. Asimo Asimo is a humanoid robot developed in Japan by Honda in the year 2000. Honda began working on humanoid robots in 1986, with his first creation appearing in 1993. However, on October 31st, 2000, the corporation unveiled Asimo, its first humanoid robot. Furthermore, Asimo stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. In addition, the name was chosen in honor of Isaac Asimov. The robot is on display at Tokyo's Maraikin Gallery. The humanoid robot measures 130 centimeters in length and weighs 54 kilograms. It also has a 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup. It also includes a processor, a stacked die, a memory cell, and a signal converter. 
The humanoid robot Asimo can recognize walking items, stances, movements, sounds, looks, and surroundings. Furthermore, it can distinguish between appearances and mouthpieces. It's designed to assist and boost the population. It can dance, run, jump, and play soccer. Erika. Erika is yet another fantastic Japanese robot. Erika's name has been changed to Arato Intelligent Conversational Android. Hiroshi Ishiguro, Osaki University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory Director, created this humanoid robot. The Lady Robot, created in 2015, has exceptional speed capabilities when compared to other world robots. Erika, the robot, has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes. These detectors aid in the detection of any activity. It also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology built in. Furthermore, it has 44 degrees of freedom on its face, neck, and waist. Erica, the lady robot, is currently serving as a news commentator. Mark 1 Ricky Ma created Mark 1, a female humanoid robot modeled after actress Scarlett Johansson using 3D printing technology. 3D printing was used to create approximately 70% of the body. Mark 1 has liquid eyes and is capable of expressing itself through detailed facial expressions such as raising its brows in surprise and even winking when spoken to. Ricky Ma spent more than $50,000 and a year and a half building the robot, but it's surprising to learn that it was built on its home balcony. The skin of the Mark 1 is made of silicon, which wraps around and conceals the robot's mechanical and electronic interior, giving it a human-like appearance. Geminoid. A female android, Geminoid F, has been unveiled by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a Japanese roboticist. The new robot, which is modeled after a young woman with long dark hair, can smile, frown, and change facial expressions more naturally than Ishiguro's previous androids. Ishiguro built the android as part of his research at Osaka University and ATR Intelligent Robotics and Communication Laboratories, with help from Kokoro Ko. This Japanese company specializes in animatronics and ultra-realistic androids. When designing Geminoid F, Ishiguro's team and Kokoro engineers wanted to create an android that could exhibit a wide range of natural expressions without requiring as many actuators as other androids they've developed. They also wanted the robot to have a convincing smile, not just any smile, but a toothy smile, as Kokoro put it. Unfortunately, however, it can also result in a frown. Nadine Nadine is the only robot who is open and generous. Unfortunately, it's a robot that commits genocide. Professor Nadia M. Thalman, on the other hand, designed Nadine's physique details. In 2013, the robot Nadine was built in Kokoro, Japan. The robot also develops strong human-like characteristics, such as human-looking skin and hair structure. Furthermore, it can respond to various issues in multiple speeches and has the ability to recall the people as the source of its previous discussion. Nadine, the robot, is extremely friendly and can answer any question you may have. Furthermore, it can change its attitude in response to the discussion. With a total of 27 degrees of independence, the robot can freely change the position of its top body and display a variety of facial expressions. Not only that, but it can recall the unique truths and incidents associated with each individual. Nadine was created using cutting-edge robotics. It's outfitted with 3D depth cameras, a webcam for input, and a microphone. It can handle individuals' special needs by reading novels for them, sending emails, and accompanying Skype tours. Jiajia Jiajia is also known as the Chinese robot goddess. It's China's first humanoid robot. Jiajia, who was revealed in 2016 and created by the University of Science and Technology of China, is widely regarded as a stunning woman in China. Depending on the situation, the robot can speak and respond to people. Chen Xiaoping, the producer team's leader, declared that robots could perform and transmit basic tasks like waiters in restaurants, clinics, and homes. Jaja is well-versed in speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology. It can capture a variety of motions, feelings, and characteristics. The robot then addressed its creator as Lord with a light-hearted tone, Emika. Emika is the world's most advanced, most realistic humanoid robot representing cutting-edge humanoid robotics technology. It was created by Engineered Arts, the world's leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots. Emika is a cloud-connected platform that augments the power of artificial intelligence by providing an artificial body in which AI and machine learning systems can be tested and developed in tandem with Engineered Arts' powerful Tritium robot operating system. 
the Amica hardware from Engineered Arts is based on their own research into humanoid robotics and is built on their advanced Mesmer technology. The robot's friendliness makes it an excellent platform for fostering human-to-human -human connections in any metaverse or digital environment. Owners can also access all robotic data from anywhere on the planet while operating as their personal animate and simulated avatar. What do you think about this female humanoid robot? Comment down your thoughts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.